credit song. Credit song. Keith David, Michael Rappaport, Daniel Day Kim, Jack, uh, TSI Smith, Michael Clark Duncan, TC Carson, Neil Kunis, Joaquin, Freddie, Andrew, Philip, Carlos, Andrew, David, Greg, Chris, Clancy, Stillwater Residents. I'm gonna have to turn down that song. Oh, they got original songs for this? Nice. That's dope. So, yeah. Uh, game's definitely rough, obviously. When it first came out, GTA clone. I don't even want to call them a ripoff. That's, that's kind of rude to call games ripoffs because when one game series does successful such as grand theft auto the originals you know one and two kind of you know they they got ended up getting more traction because there was a glitch in the oh shit is that our oh fuck that's done you know it's a glitch there was a glitch in the coding to where the the police would ram you and stuff so yeah okay there's the third street mission uh let me go get some weapons first uh you know the they would they would ram you um, top-down view did make those games hard to play because you can't see in front of you. You'd run into buildings all over the fucking place. It was stupid. But when GTA 3 came out, awesome, open world. Um, uh, very successful, did really well. And, uh, you know, of course, why wouldn't other game developers follow that? Like, you know, what's what's our take on this? So, you know, not a rip-off, but a clone. It was like, hey, you know, what's a... Um, you know, slightly different story. I mean, crying, let's take over territory. Is because you never did that in GTA. I, I don't remember when this game came out compared to San Andreas. This looks like it has better graphics than San Andreas. So, with San Andreas, they, depending on that, they might have gotten inspiration from that because San Andreas, you conquered actual territory. So, um, yeah, well, I don't care about that shit. Wait, why is that? Oh, no, that one's cheaper. Okay. 25? Fuck it. Give me this. Why not? Screw it. Um. 28? Jeez. So, yeah. Uh. Definitely a clone. Um. Hey. They got Keith David and got Daniel Day Kim in here, which is cool. But uh, not really well known. Two is when they stepped it up, um, and obviously he started having a little bit of fun. It's like, okay, fuck it. Instead of, instead of, uh, let's check out cribs. Instead of a, uh, you know, just being about crime and stuff like that, let's put a little bit fun, you know, funnier things in here, funnier characters, a little bit more quirky stuff. Obviously, like. Uh, these activities, uh, such as like insurance fraud, already kind of quirky, you know, to throw yourself into traffic and things like that. That's fun. That it, it, it's fun and funny. But two is where they stepped it up and go fuck it. Let's instead of making this just a GTA clone, let's throw in some funnier things and go a little bit more video game with it. And that's why I and I, I loved the Saints Row because they they started to realize fuck it, we're not trying to be serious. Let's just make a fun game. Uh, so. Definitely, this one's a little bit rough to play. Um, I like it just because, A, you, you story-wise, I like starting from the beginning, so you see where your character came from. So that's why I have no problem playing this again. But this for the most Chief part... If you want Julius back, listen to what I've got to say. Now, that stunt you pulled downtown with a rocket launcher cost my associates and I quite a bit of money. Rocket launcher. I, don't I may not that. be an honest man, but I'm a fair one. So rather than turn Saints Row into a parking lot... I'm gonna let you work off what you owe me. There's a mayoral campaign going on, and I want one of the candidates taken off the ballot. Marshal Winslow is in his campaign bus right now, and he has an appointment with the northbound. Park that bus on the train tracks tonight, or you'll find Julius's body floating in the river tomorrow. Don't disappoint me. Julius is counting on you. So, you, you work your way up high enough, you end up uh, getting involved in politics. Locked. That locked. Where's my crib? Hold on. That's stupid. Why is it locked? I need a. I need a car. But I can't. Is it unlocked now? Nope. Still locked. That's stupid. Well, I'm taking your car then. Um. Yeah, so get high enough. Now you start to see the 
Uh, you know, you start to get noticed by other people, not just gangs and politics get involved. So yeah, uh, Saints Row ends up becoming more of a quirky, fun game. You get voiced by Troy Baker in the third one, which is great, and the fourth one, and the fifth one. As pretty much Troy Baker after the three and after. Um, and obviously they fell off with, you know, after Gat Out of the he Gat Out of Hell with just Agents of Mayhem, which had more cracked down. Still funny, still quirky, but it was like very cartoonish, gamey, um, and very kind of kind of cracked down graphics. Typically what's referred to as cell shaded, which is actually improper. That's not what that actual style is, but it's just that's what people refer to it as. You know, the Not So Ultimate Ninja Storms and stuff like that. Um, that's just a save point. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, let me save. Oh, no, no, fuck it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, and so, uh, I would love to see another one. I don't know what happens out of Gat Out of Hell uh, after that. So, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, story-wise, what more could you do? <laughs> um, especially since, you know, 4, too. After after Saints Row 4, with what happens in that storyline, which I've never played. I just, I know the storyline. Um, I'm interested to see just what, yeah, it's like, what, what more could they even do? There's so many police officers. Well, what I'd like to do is try to get in front of. Look alive, Who the hell are you? Oh, do I just have to shoot it? Yeah, I just gotta shoot it, and then I have to take over. Oh, oh, my car is already smoking. That's, uh, wow, my car is also. I think I shot the tires. Uh, I better get ready to jump out of this bitch. Yeah, I might die here. I might die here. Because this is kind of fucking... I didn't even get a chance to get up. My health just was gone. Oh, man. Shit like that. So this this kind of bullshit. I don't have any homies. I don't have anybody help. And it's me against the convoy. It's like, the best thing you can do is to get out in front of everybody. And, uh, and just whip out your rocket launcher. Pretty much. I like how I have to whittle down its health. And then I apparently hijack it. Which is fucking weird. It kind of makes no sense. All right, so I'm just gonna get way ahead of the bus and uh, pump it full of rockets, because that's how you have to kind of play this game. And there's no homies. Look, there is no homies on the map. Nobody exists. There they are. Jesus. I'm always and looking I've only for got, action. I got, I got room for a couple. Bitch, if you don't get in the fucking car. I'm ready to roll on any of those buses. All right, let's do it. Unless they just start unloading as soon as they see the bus, which could be problematic as well. I, I have a feeling he's gonna pop up. Okay, yeah. He always comes. Okay, he always just fades into. Oh, don't, don't hit the cop. I'd rather not. Still got a time limit. But as long as I can get in front. Whip out the rocket launcher. Boom! Like that. that works. Again, this is unfortunately what this game stems down to. 30 seconds. So oh, it's still uh, having a lot of trouble. Boom, get up. All right, everybody in the bus. Can they get in? They can get in. All right, well, there's a shit ton of cops, so I'm going to I'm going to fuck it, I kind of want them to get in. At least yeah, at least give me two. If they can if they can fire out it, cool. If they can fire out the windows cuz the only thing I'm worried about is two star. Eh, I only got two stars. Is the bus taking a shit ton of damage? I still have ta a time limit? Golly. This is fucking retarded. Whatever. And if their cars take priority. I have a bus. They should not be able to sideswipe this bus. If they can, I'm going to be hella fucking mad. Me. Oh, please don't. Oh, my bus is on fire. Well, something's okay. Thank God. 
something was on fire in front of the bus, and it was going through the bus, and that scared me. Just let the cops, just let the cops do what they're doing. Just make it to the train tracks. Where's the train? Oh! Uh, they they did not walk away like a cool explosion. I'm still getting money. Okay. Oh, there's still all right. There's still more mission. Oh, oh, good lord! Fuck it, I don't care. Just get in the car. Just get in the car, please. Damn! Damn, did you see him take a swipe at him? That guy's retarded. <laughs> Whipped out his club. She just po poked her head out with a shotgun. Alright, let's go ahead and save real quick. Ooh. 65%. So... Probably last mission. Nope, not yet. Cause I think the last one's called Hail to the Chief. Did you handle it? Where the fuck is Julius? Have you heard back from Monroe? Nice work. But I don't think I can let Julius go until you do a little more community service. We'll be in touch. Looks like we wait. Why? So we can let this jag off jerk us around? Fuck that! And what would you rather do? You know exactly what I'd like to do. Shoot Johnny, up a police we're not station? Blowing up City Hall. Oh, or that. Saying, it I was thinking too. Damn. What if they're keeping Julius there? Alright. But there's gotta be a better plan than let's be Monroe's bitches. You're right. There is. Marshall Winslow was a major public figure. And you can bet your ass that people would ask questions if the chief of police wasn't at his funeral. I say we hit Monroe during the funeral procession. That's to show whoever he's working with that we're not fucking around. You're saying we should assassinate the chief of police while he's at the funeral of the guy we just smashed? Yeah. <laughs> Don't tease me, Dex. Let's fucking do it. All right. <clears throat> Wait, hey, did they just... Let's get going. Johnny's going to meet us there. Okay. Oh, don't even do that. <clears throat> Julie. Sir, uh, Dex, get in. Damn. We only get one chance at this, so we can't fuck this up. Once we hit Monroe, we better get out of there quick. The last thing we want is to make a big scene. <laughs> uh, we're probably gonna make a large one. I'm gonna just get, take a wild guess. That person was suicidal. Alright, we made it. Go upstairs. Am I supposed to be sniping? Oh. Okay, that's what I thought. Wait, what? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I assume Johnny fired a rocket from the other side. Damn. Oh. Boom. Uh, yeah, we should probably, probably get to forgive and forget. Oh, hold on. We'll get away in a police car. They won't know it's us. As long as Dex gets in the car, that's all that matters. Okay. All right. Well, this this part will be interesting. Again, no checkpoints. Yeah, I don't care. But again, they're all gonna. Yep. Yep. They're. Yeah. I'm already fucking smoking. Holy shit. And AI priority. Am I smoking? Yes. I'm dead. Oh, I'm on fire. Yeah.
I, I saw I saw that coming. Like, I f easily saw that coming. There's, of course, that was gonna happen. I'm I'm guessing that it's not that far away, but doesn't matter because right, let's get going. I take a shit ton of damage. My damage is just amplified, and they just smash into you. Okay, we made it back. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna check the map. I have a, sl a slightly different. I did hijack a newer car, so we'll see uh, what happens. I was actually really scared that was going to hit the banister. Boom. Okay. Okay, how far away? Wow, that's, that's a distance. Care. I just have to. I just kind of have to hope, honestly. I just have to cross. Okay, this is slightly more wide open, which is nicer. Ooh. Look at that bullshit. They ju just slam into you. I mean, how else? Yep, just get out. Just get out. God damn. As long as I can eat a fucking burger or something, that's all that kind of matters right now. I don't, I don't care about that guy. Give me this. I was gonna say, like, this is, yeah, this is pretty much the only thing that might be able to get. Me. You just can't help but get tense right there. They smash into you so fucking hard that it you just immediately become in danger of exploding. And then you have to hope you can get out of the car fast enough, not get caught in the explosion, and eat a fucking burger. Look at all this. Yep, I, I, I'm, I'm stuck. It's the fucking... Oh, I thought that was my car. Um... I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. I don't know where the fuck I am. Oh my god. This is so fucking ridiculous. This is just so fucking ridiculous. Like, I might- Oh my god, they're- Fuck! What? What? I just used it. Yeah, because they do so much fucking damage. Jesus. Goddamn. Fucking Christ. It's right there. Do I need a car? Oh, that was fucking alcohol. Please tell me I can just walk through the gut. Forgiven if the price is right. That is so fucking terrible. Hello there, young man. This is Alderman Hughes. That was quite a message you sent at Winslow. But you keep getting these numbers. I heard it loud and clear. Now, I'd like to set one thing straight. It was Monroe's plan to strong-arm the Saints. Personally, I've always thought you and I could have a much healthier relationship. I hate you so now, much. Now, we've had a rocky start, yes, but why don't we fix that? Come over to my fundraiser tonight. Julius will be there, and between the three of us, I'm sure we can work something out. All right, let's fucking keep going. We're powering through this bitch. God damn. Yes, please fucking save. How is this a higher percent? Oh, oh, I must have, like, completed more side missions to some degree. Um, yeah, where's the fucking map? Go to missions. Go to missions. Down here. Well, at least it's not that far. I'm drunk! I should probably buy burgers. <laughs> Knowing this game. I like how it's not taking down missions at this point. Or, uh, yeah, respect points that you earned.
Sup? Oh, boat. Sweet. Have I ridden a boat in this game yet? Sure. Save it again. I'm gonna take a piss. Okay, done taking a piss. Oh, goodness. I like how it tells you, like, this is, like, this is it. <laughs> Salting the earth. I'll give you salt you won't believe. Your guest is here, Mr. Yoltz. Thanks, Stephen. If you don't mind, could you wait outside? I'm look. Richard Hughes. It is a pleasure to meet the man who handed me the election. No need to be modest. I'm serious. There's no way I could have beaten Marshal Winslow. God rest his soul. But you made the impossible happen, and for that, I can't thank you enough. I mean, had Winslow been the only person killed, attention would have definitely been cast on me. But after that fireworks display you pulled at his funeral, it's become abundantly clear these horrible crimes were perpetrated by the Third Street Saints. While before people criticized my Saints Row urban renewal plan, it is now being lauded. See, until you came along, I was displacing poor people. Now, I'm destroying a hotbed of gang activity. What can I say? The public is fickle. Champagne. Oh, as you get older, you quickly learn that there are only two types of people in this world. Race, money, gender, none of this matters. At the end of the day, you're either a winner or a loser. Now, the sad truth about our situation is that in order for me to be a winner, I have to level your neighborhood and salt the earth. Hold on for a moment. Steven, could you come in here? Where was I? Oh, yes, salting the earth. Now, I suppose I could try a speech to pay to you me? off. But really, what's the point? You just say no. Or in your case, stand there looking intimidating, and we'd be right back to where we started. So I figured I'd cut the middle man and get right he to the... Yo, can you speed this shit up? I want to go to freckle bitches. You're going to die. Oh, here, look at that so twin. Make no mistake about that. But if it makes it any easier on you... I'll be sure to thank you in my acceptance speech. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a party to... Oh! Yeah, so if you didn't get that from the cutscenes... Uh, Julius knew that shit was about to happen! I was betrayed! Damn you! There won't be a sequel now! But there will be. Oh, there's more credits. <laughs> that's weird. So yeah, that's uh, how that game ends. Uh, Julius betrays you for some reason. I don't remember why. Uh, spoiler, there is DLC for two. That uh, you find Julius and you find out why. Um... And yeah, what's his name? Uh, Michael Rappaport was a cop the whole time, which is probably how they kept getting my number. <laughs> Boom. And that's it. So yeah, um, man, man, the fucking cop's ability to run you over is just aggravating to no extent. If it weren't for that, it's like, it's not that the game has to be easy. It's not that the game has to be easy by any means. But that shit needs to be taken care of. Like, that should not be in existence. That means the game is not difficult because of... True, uh, 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 because of skill. You know, it's not a skill-based thing. Which, you know, it's not like GTA was either. But th that aspect of the game is just, is so aggravating because I'm not losing because of skill... It's not like my driving is bad or anything like that. It's because they slam into you. Because when you're ahead, when any enemy is behind you, you could have the fast. I could have the fastest car in the game, but the AI gets priority. They zoom up. They slam into you, causing you to go like this. Or they are able to like always push you. You can't fight back, and it does so much damage that you just become a ball of flame. And you have to hope you can get out in time before it explodes, not die. And get into a new car. That is... F I can't... I can't figure out 
why that's even in here. Because the combat, you know, yeah, I, like, when you're shooting uh, during, like, the shooting aspects, that's not too bad. It's it's kind of, you know, you're not so OP. Like, obviously, there are times where, like, you take damage, and, like, I had I had died because I didn't realize how much damage I took. But, that's so that's kind of back and forth. It did. Uh, I'm okay with that. So, like, you're not OP when it comes to the shooting portions. But the driving portions, man, you just are just fucking garbage. So, that's pretty much all I have to say. It's, it's story base wise it's cool to start from the beginning just to see uh, where your character came from because I'm just a fan of that fan of that kind of stuff so that's what happens uh, you take over the row but Julius uses you as because you notice like nobody notices Julius even though he's the leader they kind of know you like you're the man so that's why like oh hey this kid's gonna take the fall for all of it. That's gonna that's gonna completely. Oh, the guy who was taking over all the territory is the player character. Oh, he's dead. Oh. He blew the fuck up. Okay, <clears throat> so no survivors, so my character has died. But spoiler alert, he comes back in the sequel. And hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully I should be able to play from here on out on PC and use a mouse and keyboard as well. Preferably. I'm just paying respects to credits. I always sit through credits. Look at all the th things that are a part of this. This is mainly all this music. Okay. 
And obviously, there's actually no music playing <laughs> over this because copyright reasons. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to figure out if I want to go. So, how they uh, continue the story in the second one is you are the same character. And you, uh, you're just in a coma. But they do plastic surgery. I'm kind of wondering if I should be bald still with a goatee or give my character hair. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's it. Because now when you load game, you go right back to that, which is which is where he's on the stairs. So if you want to complete any side missions or anything you haven't completed, mainly activities, then you can do that. So yeah, I think that'll do it for Saints Row One. <sighs> Hopefully, I should never have to play this again because I said it in the start as I played when I first ever did a Let's Play. I started Saints Row. I did this whole series. I, I definitely played one and two. Um, but now, knowing how I want my channels to run, uh, hopefully I should never have to touch this game again. Doses. I'll see you in the doses.